Well, welcome to part two of Schoene versus uh, Haldbone, played in New York 1942. Um, it's a Kali system ECO code D05, and I was just covering White's 14th move, e, a queen to e4 check, where it, it's a simultaneous attack on the king and on the undefended knight. So the king goes back to uh, g8, the queen takes the... Uh, the, the knight, technically white, is a pawn up, uh, but now basically the bishop here is attacked twice by the knight and queen and only defended once, and um, you know obviously the bishop can't go to here, just get taken, if it goes to here, this pawn here falls, so the bishop is forced to retreat all the way to f8 and now white plays knight to g5 threatening to take this pawn here on f7 and probably an eventual uh, um, checkmate or very devastating the black black plays bishop to e6 Sort of developing. I don't know if it's technical. Uh, it is technically developing the bishop attacking the queen, so forcing the queen to move away. The queen now comes the e4, threatening checkmate on h7. Black plays g6. Now totally weakening the squares around the king, especially these two squares. It's almost like you can see the last four or five moves like coming. So if you can see these moves instantly, that's great. That's why I'm sort of going over them quickly. Because the, um, the, the responses and counter and the counter responses seem very intuitive. The queen now comes to h4, threatening checkmate on um, h7. Black plays bishop to g7. Now if the queen comes to h7, giving check, the king has a flight square. can sort of run out this way. So now white will go about a plan of um, hopefully maybe closing off this uh, flight square here. That's exactly what white does. It plays bishop to e3. Not really an attack on the queen. It just happens to be that way. But now the square here. So rather now that the knight can jump in here, where it can jump into an attack, you know, here and here, or now the bishop could come here, and it will control the square here, threatening checkmate on h7. The queen goes to a6. Personally, I'm not even really too sure why why it even went to a6. I think the goal is um, um, I had two lines of thinking of why Black actually played this. I'm not even too sure, but potentially it's threatening to come to here, or it can ex um, threaten exchange of a, um, of queens. If you don't know, um, playing uh, I probably would have played queen to b5, which is probably just about the same. Uh, and the move queen to c7, which looks uh, sort of natural, bringing the queen back, maybe hopefully defending on the king's side, um, loses to this. Um, or if black plays queen to c7, black could have problems with queen to h7 check, king to f8. Bishop to b5 check. Now the knight comes back. Then opposed to e7. And then white plays. Gets a pawn queen to g6. Or queen takes g6 because if f takes g6, then knight takes um, e6 check and forking the queen. So that's why black did not play queen to c7. But played queen to a6. And now white plays queen, uh, sorry, knight, knight to c5. 
uh, hitting the queen, but also eyeing these two squares. Queen to c4. Like I said, I think that was the reason behind the move. Queen to a6 was to bring the queen to c4 where it could offer an exchange. But now it's really over. Um, this is just mop up. Um, queen to h7 check. King to f8. Knight on c takes e6 check. F takes e6. Um, I think uh, black could probably capture with the rook and last a little bit longer, but, you know, then black's just losing the exchange. So, you know, take what you get. You're going to lose by, uh, you know, white will be material material up or even more material, material up. So, um, F takes E6. Now, Queen takes G6, threatening checkmate on um, F7. And it looks like the choice of moves for black are the knight to here, the rook to E7, or the king to g8. Those look like the three moves. I'm not going to analyze them in, in depth, uh, just to let you know that all three lose. It looks like the best move may actually be a uh, rook to e7. But um, black plays knight to uh, d8, and then um, white plays knight to h7, check. Obviously, if the uh, if the king comes back, it just leads to checkmate. So, the if the king goes to uh, e7, if you don't know, uh, black resigned in this position. That's why I'm sort of not moving on from here. But if the king goes to e7, then then uh, white continues by playing uh, the rook to here. Um, and then the bishop check here will be devastating because the king can't run. So then the end will come with those two moves. So either way, it's going to come to an end. Okay, that is the game between Cherniv and Halbone played in 1942.